What's up guys? So I'm super excited today because I get to share with you the solution to the R8 overheating. I've been complaining about this for a while and I've got two solutions for you today. One is this Ulanzi fan that will actually go right back here on the back of the camera. The other is this USB powered fan that I can set up behind the camera or even to the side of the camera because sometimes it's the front of the camera that overheats. So let's open this up. So you've actually got these stickers because it doesn't stick directly on the back of the camera. You need those special stickers on there. And then you've got this. So yeah, you charge it with USB-C. And yeah, just let's just see what it looks like back here. You could actually connect this with like a rubber band or something. You might not have to put those stickers, but we'll put the stickers on there just to see. Actually, the suction cups do stick without the sticker, but I don't know that I would trust that. It might fall off and get damaged. Uh, I don't really care that much about this thing. I don't think it's gonna get broken, but I don't want it to get damaged. Uh, I'll probably keep this no matter what, use for any camera, because you can really use this for just about any camera. All right, so that's what the sticker looks like on there. And then, yeah, it seems to stick much better with the actual sticker on there. So yeah, we'll test it out in 4K 60 and 1080 120, which usually overheats for me immediately. So let's test it out. It's like 90 degrees Fahrenheit out here. It's super bright and sunny and extremely hot. So unfortunately with just the Ulanzi fan, this overheated within a few minutes. So now we've got this fan underneath it, assisting and it's cooling out, it's cooling down pretty quickly, which is this fan. So I think this is the solution. I think I'm just gonna have to keep a USB fan like this with me. And, and that's a cheaper solution. And that seems to be working better. This is falling off now. So yeah, I'm having problems with the Ulanzi fan. I really wanted that to work. This is taking the heat down really quick. Got it, I've got it underneath, pointed up. So let's try it out. You know, I'm gonna skate a little more. I landed some tricks, but this thing shut off so quickly. Not only did this fan stop the overheating, but it completely, but it caused the overheating bar to completely disappear. And the sticker is peeling off. Not only is this falling off, but the actual sticker is now peeling off the back. Maybe because it's so hot out here. This was on two. I know the screen doesn't have the right shutter speed as so you can't see it, but this might work on some cameras, but the R8 has an extreme problem with overheating. And for me, it just did not work on the R8. Sorry, Elonzi, I wish it did. All right, so you can hook this right on the tripod where the camera is, and you want to point it up at the front of the camera and you can just run this, you know, indefinitely. You can run this forever. <laughs> I've been filming for, you know, like 40 minutes now straight and it hasn't shut off. There's no warning. The overheating bars have disappeared. So it's still just as hot, but this keeps it cool right through here. And yeah, works forever. If I was gonna film a wedding or something, I'd have two of these probably. All right, so I've been filming in 120 high frame rate with no audio, so we'll film in 4K 60 so we can get some audio, see if this fan makes any noise, but it's a pretty quiet fan, so I don't know that it's gonna really pick up that much on the audio. I've just been filming like a 30 minute clip, 4K 60. No overheating bar at all. Also, I've been filming a long time on this battery. If you wanna have better battery life, go into airplane mode. You can use this with the Insta360, the one inch version, and it just kind of sits there. It's got some padding on the bottom so it doesn't get scratched up. All right, so I want you to see this. I am filming in 4K, 59.9 frames per second, 4K 60. And I've been out here for a couple hours now, and I have had no overheating since I turned this fan on. There's not even an overheating bar 
over here anymore. The overheating bar has disappeared because the camera is so cool. The camera is just like used to the heat out here now. So yeah, I think you can film indefinitely, even in 4K60. I know there's an artificial two hour limit in 4K60 that Canon just put in there to cripple it. But yeah, this works. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching. out to Ulanzi about this problem and I got this email.